Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com for your glider supplies. In this video, I want to talk about finish heights, particularly contest finish heights, and how you can set those inside the task on your LX computer. Typically, finish heights are set to be about 1,000 feet AGL, and there's a couple ways we can handle that. We can handle that with a reserve altitude, but I think a better way to do that is by adjusting the elevation of the finish point. And that means that you can keep your standard reserve altitude for gliding to airports during the course, and you have that additional elevation for your finish. And so to get to that, what we want to do is the first thing is we want to edit the task. So we go down here, we're going to edit, and then we're going to take a look at options. Within the options, it's important that we have navigate to nearest point selected. What this does is at the end of the task, it navigates us to the circumference of the finish cylinder, not to the center. And since that's where the task ends and that's where our height is measured for the finish, that's what we want to navigate to. So we always want to have navigate to nearest point selected for our finish cylinder. We want to edit our finish zone. So we're going to, using our bottom right knob, we can scroll down to our finish zone at Rockton, and then we want to adjust the zone. So we're going to come into the zone, and the elevation of Rockton is 845 feet above sea level. If the finish height is 1,000 feet AGL, then what we want to do is we want to be able to navigate to 1,845 feet. So we can adjust this elevation up to our 1845. So we'll set that to 1845 and say OK and close. So now, as we're on final glide and coming to the task, it's going to navigate us to the edge of the cylinder at 1000 feet AGL. Other places where we can set reserve heights are in our setup. So if we go to our setup menu and we go to the QH and reserve we can see that we can set a safety altitude here. And so that would be the altitude you want to arrive overhead any en route landable point. We also have a safety McCready offset. And what that does is it adds additional height to your final glide by suggesting a height that's required to fly at a higher McCready setting. And so this is a particularly use when you're flying in the west when you have strong sync or you can expect strong sync on the way home. It's much better because instead of giving you just a one value offset for your final glide home, which you would do with your safety altitude, this actually gives you more of an exponential offset. The further out you are, the higher above your required final glide it's going to tell you you need to be. So those are two more things that you can set. Both of these additional altitudes would be calculated on top of the 1,845 foot arrival that we've set for the finish height. And so we have to take that into account is that when we have a 1,000 foot AGL finish plus 500 feet plus potentially another safety McCready offset, this could potentially be navigating you to arrive a 1,000 or more above your finish height. So you have to take that into account as you're flying home remembering what you've set so that you don't end at the finish line much too high. Hopefully you've learned something new about your LX Flight computer today. Please visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com and subscribe to this Fox One Corp YouTube channel.